Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to take a look at a mod called The Lost Vault. And we're going to explore it together because I've not been in there yet. So we're going to learn this vault together. So here we go. Take that. Okay. And take that. Ooh, a fried pit boy. We'll take that. We'll put that in our settlement. Here we go. Ooh. Spooky. Add some light to the subject. Okay, that's where we go back out at. Looks like uh, either this was the decorations for the vault or. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, Vault Tech hazmat suit. Okay, we'll take that for collection. Huh, this is weird. Vents are burnt. Barricades everywhere. Let's move quick. This area isn't agreeing with us. Well, yeah, I know. But I'm looking, Kate. Just calm down. We're exploring. Oh, we got a broken terminal. Generic vault suit. Oh, what's this? Ah! Oh, rats. Can't take that. Take a generic vault suit. Were you really trying to keep track of your friend that well? Wow. Oh. Another. Eh. Hey, gonna have a collection of these things. Okay, let's see here. We have the depot. And we have the atrium. Let's go to the depot. Kind of looks like a. Guess it's a depot. Okay, where they kept a bunch of stuff. Let's see what's behind here? Anything? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Hmm. I'm beginning to feel like Peanut. Walk into a business and go, hmm, hmm, hmm. You are a depot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, some nice little random loot. Stuff I can use. Unrusted tin can. Hmm. Okay, what is this? More of the depot? Oh, 
Okay. Oh, we've got... We, we got ghouls. Okay, we'll leave him alone for right now. Anything else? Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Only you, Kate. Only you. Let's see, what do we got down here? Well. Get off me. Get off. Get off. Gotta do this more often. We do it every time we go somewhere, Kate. We usually end up murdering and killing everything we come across. No, 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 no. Oh, too bad you couldn't get this other stuff. Trying to keep him for killing things this time. We're trying to be a kinder, gentler group. Whoa. Well, you do that. I save this for you. You were a little slow, Kate. Okay. Whoa. Hey. Okay. We got another one. Are you pulling a Bruce Lee? Come get you some. Is that what you were doing, Kate? Hmm. Ooh, you turkey. Well, that was easy. Eh. There. Let's see if there's anything behind here. Huh. Oh, what's this? That's you like thing. old stuff, don't you? Don't see the point. That time's long gone. I just woke up like a few months ago. I have some nostalgia left. Get over it, Kate. Well, I don't see any more doors here. Is that one down there? No. Okay, that's creepy. Yeah, you just hide back there. Another utility jumpsuit. Huh. Well, I gotta find my way back out of here. Oh, is that another fried pit? Ah, oh. kind of. Hmm. Is there anything in here? Yeah, oh, money. Money, money, money. Money. Yeah, light bulbs I got plenty of. Still wished I could have this. It's black. We have white. Is that an invisible wall? No, okay. Would you quit teleporting? Or at least teach me how to do it. Hmm. 
Okay. So... I guess we'll be going to the atrium. That's really smart. Jab a hole in my rat hazmat suit. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whoa! Give me some caps. Hey, 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 hey! Can you, like, go after Kate? Come on. Okay, baseball bat time. been telling you that for years, Kate. Good God. No. Not years. Eh, a couple months at least. Now, where'd my caps go? There they are. Can I have caps? Caps? Caps. Thank you. Well, these poor souls have had... Oh, I don't carry ammo. Go away, ammo. I want the gold watch. No, gold watch. Thank you. Are you warm, honey? Oh, no. You're just a skeleton. No disrespect. Nope. Okay. Oh, cool! We do get a set. Yes. Okay, I don't carry ammo. I don't carry pistols. Melee only. Ooh. Whoa. Ah, cool. Another set. It's almost like where did all this brain fungus come from? What the hell? Leave that junk behind. You're just wasting space. You think it's wasting space. Me, it's making stuff. Okay. Hmm. No, let's not go up there yet. Let's... Cafeteria, clinic, and laboratory. I want this for a vault piece. Oh, it's a separate cell. Okay. Oh. 
Beating the legs off of them. Eh. Okay. Got us a little uh, cafeteria here. You know, you're just pouring that on your face plate. Sorry, but y'all can't be trusted now. Okay, hold on. We're, we're 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 gonna we're gonna back up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do another zone. Again, let's get that noise. Whoa! Sorry, Kate. Okay. Something's ghostiness. No, nothing's ghostiness. They just coming down the hallway. I can just imagine what's in the clinic. They're not zombies. Hey, Kate, you know, ah, I'm caught. What am I caught on? Where'd the one go? Sick him, Kate. Sick him. Well, how about you find it? Yeah. Kate, you're supposed to hit them before they go by you. Whoa! <laughs> ooh, 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 Kate, will you please get in there and take care of some of that? You're amazing, Kate. You really are. And yes, I'm meaning that sarcastically.
Okay, is this terminal work? No. Ah! I wonder if I can read those. No. Okay. It was worth a shot. Yeah, I know I can't equip the item. Hmm. Okay, dead end. Uh. Oh, the dead end. Okay. Let's see here. Whole bunch of dead ghouls. Whole bunch of dead ghouls. the heck do we have here this place is massive I'm gonna have to do the Hansel and Gretel thing Okay, that takes you back to the Lost Vault. I'm gonna have to grab a whole bunch of stuff, light stuff, and drop it. Oh. Okay. Speaking of light stuff. Okay, here's the thing. This vault is way too big, and I don't feel like exploring the same place three or four times. So we're going to leave some breadcrumbs to let us know where we've been. Okay, where does this bring us out in the lost vault? Please let it be the second floor of the atrium. Yes, okay. Okay, I didn't see any stairs down. Okay. Okay, somebody was trying to dig out. Okay, let's see if this... Looks like these people were desperate to get out or figure something out. Sorry, vault residents, but... Okay. That leads to the residential zone. Don't want that. Whoa! Hell, Vault Tech lied. Take it they didn't like the Overseer. Yes. Okay, now maybe we can get some answers. Ah, there's a card. Okay, guidelines. Ah, dear Overseer, this is a message from Vault Tech outlining your basic duties. 1. Keep the people in order. You are the leader and the residents must obey you. 
If they choose otherwise, you have authority to use as much force as required. Keep the vault in order. You must ensure that the realities of the outside world do not leak into the vault. This means anything foreign to the pre-war life must be exterminated and or removed. That includes in keeping vault tech monitoring staff a secret. This will ensure a happy and healthy vault. Three, you may use this terminal for personal logs. But these logs must be removed before you stop, step down from the roll or must be removed by the following overseer. The only logs allowed to remain are those marked important by both the overseer of, of the time as well as the vault tech staff. You must ensure that everyone in three families have at least one offspring. This will ensure the longevity of the vault and allow for it to live on from ages to come on for ages to come respect the experiment each resident must be expelled from the vault a week after turning 50 they must be given a vault tech radiation suit so their vitals and experiences can be monitored failing to comply with this rule can cost you your title as overseer and termination from the vault tech to this vault tech to this rule you will be offered to join by a minimum of age 50 however a new overseer must be appointed before the age of 40 and must step down and join the vault tech staff by the age of 60 if you happen to be in a relationship your partner is permitted to join vault tech staff too however if she refuses they must be exiled so the experiments do not become known you are allowed to alter the experiment only after consulting with vault tech staff and only if the second rule is in jeopardy of being broken. vault tech October 26th. This is Overseer Jaden. It has only been a few days since the bomb f bombs fell. It was a blankety blank massacre. Most of our residents aren't ones who signed up but rather construction workers and trickle in from metro station the rest are simply tourists some of which already signed to be in this vault some of which were lucky enough to get indoor and start their tours as the bomb fell it's for unfortunate that it happened this way this vault was supposed to be a marvel of modern technology the entire lower levels weren't even finished, we were supposed to have an entire section of the vault that merely simulated pre-war life. Singing, signing, singing birds, artificial sky, shops, parks, green trees. But that's all gone now. I guess we just have to deal, to deal the hand we're dealt, right? We're lucky enough to be alive. From the early reports, it's not looking good outside. The vault tech staff and I talked about what to do with the lower levels and we decided it'd be best to lock it off. It's too much of a danger to the residents between the radiation and falling rocks. I'll get some of the construction workers to go down there tomorrow and use the remainder of their explosives to close off the metro tunnels. That is if they haven't already caved in. Such a mess, but hey, at least the numbers evened out. We almost have a perfect male to female ratio and some of them are families who already have children, so I'm sure it'll it'll all be fine. Hmm. Twenty-one years later. This is Overseer Jaden. I cannot believe it's already been twenty years. Twenty years and we're still going strong. The residents are taking the bait. I mean obviously they know it's not a complete paradise, but they think it's a lot better then we're letting on in time I'm sure they'll change generation by generation we will water the story down until the Boston Boston returns to its former glory and we can all be free from this tin can enough rambling though on to business the whole point of exiling our residents is to collect a constant flow of information on the outside world and boy have we collected a lot of it for starters the situation is a lot worse than we initially thought. Multiple residents have sent back data of what appears to be a 
giant crater only about a mile from where we're located and my best guess is that that crater is ground zero it's a damn miracle that we're still alive vault projections predicted the chinese would bomb the downtown area instead i mean that makes sense right catastrophic death toll bustling city guess not another thing we've discovered is that the outside world seems to be a flurry of radioactive dust and debris it seems like a constant storm out there, so I guess it's a good thing vault Tech opted for the hazmat suits over gas masks. The storm seems to be home to some pretty interesting creatures, a lot of oversized roaches, which the exile residents never take well to. We've lost far too many to those. What's worse is these feral creatures that appear to be people, but they're not. Their skin is peeled. Their eyes are sunken and they don't seem to have any common interactions other than hostility. Luckily, most of those creatures have been weak or mangled enough to be put down easily by the exiles, but it does a toll on them mentally. I can only wonder if that's the fate for those we sent we sound out there. Is that what the radiation is doing to people, turning them into mindless zombies? It almost makes me think these experiments are wrong, but it's for the greater good. Just last week, another one of the exiles broke the storm wall. It's only happened twice before. Many head for the city, but few survived to get all the way there. The camera footage nearly brought a tear to my eye. It was beautiful and eerie all, and eerie all at the same time. Watching him step out of the radiation dust to see a glowing sunrise through the mangled rebar of the skyscrapers. I wish everyone could see that. In time, hopefully people will. Oh, let's see here. Oh my god. Good god. 180 years? This is Overseer Rupert. There's been some rumors floating around the vault. And if they're true, then we've got a big problem on our hands. Some people say their Geiger counters have been going off at random. And if it were one or two people, I'd blame it on the faulty old pit boy. But nearly a quarter of the residents have had this complaint. I've been able to cover it up so far, but I fear that we may be facing a very big issue. If we are intend, indeed exper experiencing radiation leaks, we need to combat it, and I'm not taking the chance of waiting longer. Starting next week, a specialized group of doctors will start spiking the VTSP-12 pills with a healthy dose of Radaway. <laughs> These guys are thinking of everything. And Rad X. in addition to this, we're lowering the age cap from 50 to 30 so we can ensure that we're collecting the most data possible from healthy exiles the last thing we need is sickly middle-aged people running around in our expensive vault tech hazmat suits if that were the case we may as well throw them in the wasteland in golden caskets on the topic of the sick we'll be collecting medical records to see if any has contracted radiation poisoning I'll get security to round them up in the night and throw them out. They're only a liability if that's the case. No one will figure it out if we keep our lips sealed and we can just spin the story that they made a great escape because they were selfish and wanted to explore the paradise outside before their coming of age. Wow. This guy's a real hoot. It would fit nicely with the narrative we can tell the residents were lowering the age because the world is getting better too oh how little they know but it's all for the greater good wow this all for the greater good stuff is for the birds let's see here 2283 oh Rupert's back let's see here ah uh. Well, it looks like he's talking about radiation leaks being confirmed. Revolutions. Guess they're wanting to start some revolution that'll be I'll get security to stomp over them like insects. Well, this guy sounds ruthless. One day we could be able to walk on lush green grass again. It's a blanking hole. 
out there. Okay. Yeah, he's... Ah, I fear this is going to be my last report because as I type this, I can hear gunfire bouncing off the walls of the atrium. I see the glow of fire. The riots of the majority of this vault residence. Hell, even some of my own security team is down there. I don't know how, but to a certain extent, they're all right to be angry. Maybe lying to them wasn't the best tactic, but I just wanted to follow vault Tech's orders so much for that. They were slaughtered after the residents discovered they were pulling the strings from behind the walls. I hated to admit it, but this is the end, and in hindsight, there was no way this would have worked. The vault was crumbling since the day the bombs fell. If we did try to make things work for even another 20 years, the radiation is getting so bad that it'd just kill us eventually. Now I sit here carrying heavy burdens. Hey, let people die for me or all to blame. Maybe I could have made things different. Maybe I could have spread the truth, given the residents had mad suits, and let them try their luck in the wastes. Hey, he says he's a coward, and he's taken a coward's death. Well... Baltic... Oh, Baltex supplement pills. Yeah, blew his brains out. What in the world? KPT 899. 320. Okay. Okay. Oh, a bed. Yay. You get an hour's sleep here. Okay. sleep again see if she'll pop back up Kate Kate oh Kate where'd Kate go Another one of those creepy mannequins looking like Joker. Kate? Okay. Oh, okay, there she is. Whew. He didn't fall through the world. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to call it a episode here. And we will do some more of this at a later date. I appreciate you all stopping by. And uh, we'll continue our uh, ex exploration of Vault 117, the Lost Vault. Y'all have a great day. Bye.